Hey, what's going on team? It's Ricky with Tackle Solutions. Super quick market update. I'm not too sure if it's been just me as I've been watching the market pretty much trade sideways for the past two weeks. And what I mean by this is that if you've been paying attention to the NASDAQ or the S&P 500, looking at QQQ, you can see that we have not shown signs of progress beyond 449 that was established you know, about two weeks ago. But even other than that 449, we haven't really broken above 450 yet. It was originally tested uh, in the beginning of March. Now, again, you guys let me know down in the comment section is does this and is this showing us signs of a solid resistance level for the NASDAQ market before we actually begin to drop? I want to remind you, if you look at this on the day chart, the market's been incredibly bullish for about a year and a half now. So as the market has recovered from pandemic conditions, now we are at, at that all-time high levels for both S&P and NASDAQ market. So now is the market overbought enough that it's going to begin to correct itself? And one of the things that I also want to show you is what Wall Street is saying. So we did see a small little drop today, nothing significant and nothing I would get too excited about because overall NASDAQ market is still doing a very good job holding above the moving average on the four hour time frame. But it says Dow falls and then also JP Morgan drops because of their expectations and their guidance that they established for 2024 being less than what was originally expected. You guys can see here that JP Morgan Chase shares declined more than 5% after the baking giant posted its its first Q1 of 2024 results. With that also being said, they're talking about inflation. Like you guys saw this week, we talked about it. CPI and PPI. Inflation on the production and on the consumer side of things has always been a big focus from the Federal Reserve. Now, inflation is not just not going down. It's not just staying stagnant. It's actually going up and up more than what is expected based off of our two most recent CPI reports. So what is that telling us? Well, according to this article, it says inflation is too stubborn and that means less rate cuts and that's not good for valuation. Remember, the Federal Reserve can justify rate cuts, cutting interest rates, making it less expensive for people like you and I to borrow money when inflation is actually going down. But if inflation continues to hold here and or continue to go up, then the Federal Reserve cannot justify lowering interest rates if inflation is not going away, because then that would be a full circle. So remember, the Federal Reserve really likes to pay attention to um, overall CPI reports, right, inflation reports, but also the PCE reports are one of the Federal Reserve's favorite economic reports to pay attention to. So make sure that you look that up on the economic schedule. And as you guys can see right on over here, it says Bob Dole, Crossmark Global CEO and uh, Chief Officer uh, told CNBC. So again, overall, there's, there's concern of our current inflation rate because it was to be expected that in 2024, they are going to start cutting interest rates right away. And we just have not seen that. Um, market's been very bullish. And as you guys can see by the overall NASDAQ market, we've been holding above this moving average. That's the four hour moving average that I was talking about. But we have not done anything to actually break the support and break this pattern. So this is why I said the comment bears people that are trying to make money shorting don't get too ahead of yourself market is still incredibly bullish and it's been finding any and every reason to hold at these levels so i would hate for you to enter a short position and then it just not go according to plan because it continues to find an ascending support here so let's stay patient let's stay calculated and one of the things that i want to do is i want to set my alert for the break above because if it does begin to show signs of progress then great but I also want to set my alert for the break below 434 on QQQ because if NASDAQ actually begins to break that support and break that overall uptrend pattern that it has not been able to break all of 2024, then that could be a step in the right direction for the bears. But again, we must wait for confirmation. Other than that, I do want to let you guys know it's the final 48 hours for our Corvette C8 giveaway, which means this Corvette's going to someone just like you, but the only difference is they are actually entering the uh, TechBuds apparel giveaway. It's super simple. You guys can head on over to shoptechbuds.com from the mystery box, from t-shirts. It can be mouse pads, wall art, 
every order right now gets you 20x entries which is our biggest multiplier and again it ends on april 14th so please make sure that if you want to enter to win you automatically get entered just by buying anything from shoptechbuds.com or the fourth link in the description down below i do appreciate you guys time if you guys have any comments whatsoever feel free to let them know uh let me know down in the comment section but also again if you ever want to watch me trade live as soon as monday when the market opens i'll see you then and that's that second link in the description down below we are running a 50 percent off discount right now so you can sign up today start watching the course material and then watch me trade live as soon as monday when the market opens i appreciate your time have a good weekend and like always let's make sure that we end the year on a green note take care team